All right, I got my 72 De Tomaso Ford Pantera here, and I am working on trying to find a short circuit. I have a short in the parking light circuit, and I want to tell you how I am going about doing this. So, any type of short you can find, you can actually pigtail off there. I unplugged the wire, and I put a alligator clip onto it. I've got the cords coming over, and I am using a light as a load. Now, when this is not shorted, this barely glows um, orange, and this is my load to keep from burning up any wires in the vehicle, but I can leave it in a short mode without worrying about burning up the car. So, this is perfect right now. I have the wires coming out of the dash, and I've intercepted, I've disconnected the wire, and what I'm doing is I'm using this light as a load. Okay, this is this is a 55 watt bulb, and obviously the the circuitry and everything on the parking light circuit can handle that because each bulb was about 23 watts, well, actually 15 I think on the uh, on the 1157 on the low side. So the first thing I did is I came in here, took out the panels, and unplugged the front parking light, and no change. All right. Now, come over here to the back, and I want to find out maybe the short circuit is in the back somewhere, the back of the car. So I had to pull the wheel off here, and over here is the plug going to the rear. And you can see here's the wiring, and this comes through. And this is the main feed going to the rear of the car. Now, I have my helper here. And you can see this light is full bright right now and hot as the dickens because it's been going for a while now i am going to unplug this plug right now that is just feeding the lights on the rear of the car and this works on any classic car so you have any kind of any car of any type you can do the same thing with a load on the shorted circuit and make sure the load is is you know relative to you know if it was a higher amp circuit you might need two of these lights if you're running like the whole headlight circuit or something so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and unplug this wire and we're going to see this unplug this wire and there it goes all right so that tells me right now that the problem is with the wiring going to the back of the car I plug it back in oh, plug it back in it's kind of hard to do with one hand and we're back to a short mode now it said unplugged I should be able to come over and take a look at the last remaining light I haven't unplugged and look there it is it's lit up so that means that all the short circuit is in the back now once you figure out which section is shorted you want to leave it in the short mode because it might be something that would cool off so I plug this back in it's full brightness which means it's a direct ground I have something completely directly grounded and it could be something as simple as a bad bulb come back around to the front that's gone out because all the power is going to the short so that is the easiest way to figure out and diagnose a short circuit that is active. If you have an intermittent, you can do the same thing with a bulb. Uh, and that's what I started out on. I had the bulb, it was glowing dim, all the parking lights are working. I get in, I start wiggling wires, wiggling wires, banging on the car, and eventually all of a sudden, it goes into the direct short mode. But I didn't burn up any wires because I used this bulb as the load, and that's just a fog light. And uh, so now, the next thing I need to do is I need to 